Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. Welcome to the Paint Pixie page. I am Laura Louise with Restyle Lemons, one of their um, resident artists, and we are doing the Sunflower Marathon this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. There's been some really cute, um, some cute items that have sunflowers on them. I um, this October will be 27 years of being married, and in my wedding bouquet, I had huge stalks of sunflowers in it. <laughs> and I think my um, my bridesmaids probably had them in their bouquets too. Hey Jade, hey Josie, and you know they were kind of shoved around, you know, on the tables and stuff like that. Hey Rashonda, but I love sunflowers to this day. But I did learn that if you really like something like you know like that sunflowers daisies or some kind of iconic thing don't tell people <laughs> at least not when you're getting married i could oh my gosh the gifts i got with sunflowers on them just weird 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 gifts with sunflowers on them <laughs> just like oh my gosh i mean it was sweet you know but um i just wanted them in my bouquet i didn't want them all over my house <laughs> But anyways, doing this marathon, it just reminds me of it. And I mean, dish towels, bath towels, bath mats, picture frames covered in sunflowers. Uh, what else? Silver, like um, serving ware with the, you know, like the handles have these huge sunflowers. I mean, it was just, I didn't know there were so many things with sunflowers on them 27 years ago. Anywho, <laughs> thought I'd share that little fun story with you. Right? Okay, so I'm so excited what I'm doing tonight, um, I have an old cabinet door, and I have it all primed and ready to go. And what I'm gonna do on my cabinet door tonight is I'm going to paint, um, I guess you can call it a little girl, um, with flowers in her hair. So that's what I'm doing. Um, some of you know that I, I'm, I am a furniture artist, Restyle Lemons is my um, business name. And I'm starting a whole line of kids' furniture and kids' decor, so um, I thought it would be fun to do some of that with you tonight on the cabinet, okay? So that's what we're going to do tonight. I've got all my uh, paint pixie brushes that I'm going to use. I have our shortstop. I may not use all of them, but I always have them just in case. Hi, Karen. And I have my little D, which is one of my all-time favorites. And then I have a bunch of the Turquoise Iris Collection um, paint brushes. So, and since I'm painting flowers in her hair, kind of like in a headband, these are kind of my two favorite. We have, it's called The Favorite, isn't that funny? Hi, Jane! And um, Cat's Tongue, because you can see the tips are curved and it's great for making petals. So, I always use those and I try to make petals. And I, um, I'm really new to canvas painting, so I'm having lots of fun um, just kind of testing my boundaries and seeing how it goes. So I'm excited to do it on, um, on a cabinet tonight because I think it's such a fun idea. It's, you know, hanging canvas wall art is great, but why not do it on a cabinet piece, right? That's how we upcycle. I'm on after you, dear. You're always a hard act. <laughs> I don't think so, but thank you. You're so sweet. But thank you for reminding me so I can remember my time, okay? I've got I've got a clock over here so I can keep track. Um, oh, and hello to my Restyle Lemons page. I always forget. Thanks for cross-posting, Jane. Okay, so this is how I started. I started with this, but bigger. I just wanted to show you what the um, cabinet looks like. So it's like a shaker style, just you're playing, I don't know, with maple or oak. And I used our, um, thank you, Jane, I used our undercover primer. It was a little bit shiny, um, so I wanted to make sure everything stuck to it, so that's what I did. Hello, Desiree, how is Boise, Idaho? <laughs> so here is the primer on it, that's what it looks like. Hey Derek, how are you? And I've already, thank you Desiree, I've already outlined the face. I don't know if you can see it. That's just kind of how I work. I like to outline it first. Um, and then I'm just going to paint around it and then paint on top of it. And you guys are going to, it's hot. Is it really, it's hot in Idaho? 
I didn't know Idaho got that hot. Making sure I didn't miss any comments. Okay. Well, Texas has had some crazy rain. We had flooding. Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. Hi, Melinda. And so the weather really dropped to like the, low, the high 70s. But the humidity is back and it was 100 today. So <laughs> hello, Veronica. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on the background. Okay, and I have you should let me show you my palette of colors I have. Look at all those beautiful, magical chalk paint colors. Hello, it's... Hey, I was born and raised in Orange County, California. I, li I grew up in actually Orange County, in Orange, the city of Orange, in Orange County. Um, okay, so I have all these colors on my palette because as a creative, if you're in a creative, you know that you can change them on at any time. So I gotta have all these colors handy. But I am gonna do the backdrop in... Don't they? I'm going to do the backdrop in, um, whoops, hold on, and I think Tropical Dream, y'all, and Mojito. They're such yummy, pretty colors. Um, and I did bring a little bit of sugar glass in because I may want to, you know, kind of darken it. We'll see. I know I love all these colors. If you guys have not tried them yet, gotta grab them. They're so pretty. Okay, so I wanna do a little darker behind her hair. So I'm gonna do darker there. And I'm gonna, and once you get to know how I paint, if you um, wanna come follow me on Restyle Lemons, um, I blend, I try to blend everything. I don't know if I should, but it's just what I like. Meg Griffin. How are you? Okay, so I just put those three colors. Oh, they're gorgeous together. Seriously, they're gorgeous. I wanted to use my caddy. If you guys don't have a caddy brush, you need to go get a caddy brush. The bristles are so soft and they blend so good. But I filled up her face within this frame and so this is a little too big. But anytime I get a chance to blend, I'm looking for the caddy first. Um, so I'm just gonna use my short stop, okay? And what I like to do is I put my colors next to each other and I kind of just stick them all together like that. Can you guys see that okay? So it's just all three of them, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna put you down here so you can see what I'm doing and you don't need to look at me anymore. <laughs> so hold tight, I'm gonna move this camera. I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can see. And if you have any questions along the way, I will try my best to, um, to catch those. Same on Restyle Lemons. If anyone has any questions, just holler. But here we go. So I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna go around where I penciled. Just blend that. And I will eventually outline her in black so she shows up really well, but I don't wanna do that quite yet. So when I get down here more, I'll probably lighten the colors and I won't add that sugared glass. Just wanted a little bit darker color. And what's great about magical chalk paint is if I mess up and I need to I don't know, paint over it or add a different color. It reactivates with water, so it's super easy to either move it or redo it. So it's super forgiving. If you're new to chalk painting, this paint is great for that. You, it, it just it works with you. It works with your level too. Blends really nice and it super forgiving. Okay making sure I got all my little areas and I can always go back with a smaller brush and add this color to it. And if I do, you know, paint over the pencil, because I've done that before with other <laughs> projects, I could just outline it with the paint. 
But if you're just tuning in, I have a pencil all a pencil. I have a girl outline in pencil, so that's what I'm doing is I'm making my background around her. And I'll hold that up so you guys can see. I'm just gonna do a little bit lighter when I get down here. Some more mojito in the tropical dream. Let's see if you've got any questions. They are pretty colors, huh? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jade. The self-leveling characteristic is awesome. Yes, it is. Yeah, once you get that paint down, especially when you're doing furniture, I do lots of dressers, and that, that top part of that dresser, you know, where people are going to set things on and they're going to see it, you know, up close, is when you get your paint on there, especially if you use um, Water Girl and Mist It, it helps the paint spread so good, and it levels out really well so there's no brush strokes, so... There's a reason Josie called it magical. <laughs> you guys can hear me okay too. I always forget to turn my mic. I don't know why. But there we go. Okay, so this section down here is going to be her shirt. Okay? And see, I, ooh, I pinned it in her neck, but that's all good. Not a big deal. So I'm just double checking that I covered all of her background. This is going to be her pigtail. That's her head. Um, and I'm going to cover all this part with flowers. And neck and shirt. So pretty simple, right? It's not my page. So. Let me just make sure I get all these little grooves in here. Okay, that is her shirt, so I'm stopping there. And I haven't decided if I'm going to have this background come out here on these edges because it's kind of like a frame to go with our magical brushes. Yes, the brushes are good. Are you painting? On I am, Veronica. I'm painting on a cabinet that looked like this prior. And I use our undercover primer for the back. That's what the white is. And now I'm blending colors for the background. So I'm taking a little more sugar glass. I kind of just want to put it up here a little more. She's going to have some dirty blonde hair. And I really love how a darker blue or turquoise pops against yellow. And this brush is great for just painting flat or like stippling, what I'm doing here. It just leaves really cool, cool marks. This is our short stop. I usually have a link I need to put on, but everything I'm using is available on our Paint Pixie website. And it's also available on my website, which is restylelemons.com. Okay, I think we're gonna let that hang out for a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna get started on, I think I wanna do her skin. And for her skin tone, I'm gonna be using a dreamsicle and glazed donut. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of each color on my palette, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to use, I'll just use this one. This is another turquoise iris collection. This is the round brush. I buy those doors from Ikea for dirt cheap. I sketch and paint on whatever I get my hand. That's, see, that's a great idea. The way, way to practice. When I was first starting out, people told me to get cardboard boxes, you know, like Amazon delivers, and just the big piece, paint on that. But yeah. I had a friend who redid her kitchen and she gave me a bunch of cabinet doors, so I've been having fun using them. Okay, I'm at a little bit more dream circle, so she's not 
She's got a little bit of color in her. But I'll put some pink on her cheeks too. Okay. Just making sure I'm watching my pencil mark. So here's her neck. So I'm just going a little slow right here so I don't get into the background. Do you find yourself get really quiet when you're concentrating? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Has anybody else painted on cabinet doors before? I always have all these cool ideas, but then I don't get them done. Okay. Where do you find your inspiration pictures? Oh, Pinterest. They just plop in... Um, I don't know, certain search words and then certain pictures pop up and then I kind of just look at them and throw my little twist on it. But I used to, um, I don't know if you, if I remember telling you this, Josie, is before I started furniture painting, I used to do mixed media on canvas. Um, just making sure I got the right color for her face as I do the neck. Um, and I used to do, I used to do a lot of like verses and encouraging quotes. Um, but I also used to do, um, I would make girls, I don't know how to describe it. I would make girls kind of like this, but with, they had no faces, but I, their, all their bodies and like their clothes would all be made out of either newspapers or book pages or scrapbook paper and their hair and all that stuff. Um, so I did that on canvas for a little bit. And so... This got me thinking since all the new stuff I'm going to start doing is I should go, I should go back to those basics, right? Because I loved how they turned out. It was just so fun um, doing the girls. So I thought it would be fun to do a bigger one and use the cabinets that I have. Hey, Miss Pam Dudley. <laughs> over on Restyled Lemons page. I'm also on the Paint Pixie page too, Pam. Okay. So I have her eyes and her nose and her mouth here, but I think I can remember where I put them. <laughs> so I will paint over them. That's a good skin tone, right guys? Thanks, Josie. I love this so much. Seeing how you drew it out, even I might. See? Yeah. I used to draw all the time growing up. So it's just it's just easier for me to draw things out than to just take a paintbrush and start. But if it comes to faces and like animals. Maybe if I did it more regularly, I would get better at it. Here we go. But see, then I'm like, whoops. Make her face come in a little bit more over here. All right. And I think one coat should be good since there's a white background. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of our dreamsicle in certain areas, you know, just kind of like the highlight.
And I can add it afterwards too, so. Hey, Jessica Murka, how are you, sister? I can't get over how smooth that paint, I know, right? Self-leveling, it's magic, I'm telling ya. <laughs> no, Pam, Pam's telling me congratulations on my win. I get to be in an ad with Josie, I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, Jade, have you tried this paint yet? Okay, I think next I'm gonna do her hair. And so I'm gonna do a mix of our honeycomb and lemon creakle. You know, girls gotta have some highlights, right? And then I'm probably gonna add a little chocolate souffle just to add some depth to it. Hi, Nicole. Ooh, I'm just getting on and already in love with what you are doing, thank you. I'm doing a portrait, no. <laughs> I'm painting a little cute girl on a cabinet. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stick with my ram brush because it's working. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in our honeycomb first. And I'm just kinda, I'm not gonna smooth it out as much because I want some texture in the hair. You know, so you could tell that it's hair. So I made, make thicker marks on it intentionally that makes sense you guys tell from there yes i'm going to have to try the paint yes miss jade it is the best yes you will love it Especially Jade because of this snap top. I mean, come on. And it even comes in the bigger sizes too. You just dump it and pour it and it's awesome. It's so convenient. All right, you guys can see that texture on there, right? Close got to have a little bit of wave going on. That's the kind of artist I am. I am not perfect and I don't, I don't want any of my stuff to look perfect. Otherwise it stresses me out. I'm learning how to be more free and just have fun. And this is the Ram brush from the Turquoise Iris collection. This is a great one. Good for so many things. Got to give her a part, right, guys? I spilled a little over, but it's all good. It's all good. So I have those wispies coming out on the side. Yes, those bottles are cool. Aren't they cool, Jane? I do. I like them, too. Okay, so we're going to get her little... I'm going to put flowers here, too, but she's got cute little pigtails we got to add down here. I kind of like... Messy pigtails, but you know, I you can't tell now, but I have naturally curly hair and I'm trying to grow it out longer so I can wear more of my curls. I don't know why, but I don't like my hair curly and short for some reason. Okay, so there's one cute little pigtail. <laughs> yes, those bottles are cool. Yeah. You will like them. 
I love it when I have a dresser top to paint or um, a nightstand um, or desk. I just flip open the top and I just pour it all over the top and start brushing. Such a good feeling. <laughs> All right, are you guys as shocked as I am that September's around the corner? Oh my gosh, crazy. Are you guys ready for all the holidays to start? I don't think I am. I don't think I was ready for summer. I was ready for summer heat to end, but I wasn't ready for summer. Okay, we're going to have some of our pigtail hang off over here. Wow, you do a great job straightening it. Oh, my hair, I'm like straighten one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not ready either. Yeah, if you need some good hair products, I use Lange. Message me and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> I love them for curly or straight hair. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this out and we're gonna add a little bit, some highlights on her. I'm going to use our Lemon Crinkle. I'm just going to... Oh, Pam knows about Lange. Yes, Lange is great. And I memorized a code that I can always get them for $9 each. <laughs> Fabulous is that, people. Okay, so we're just going to do some highlights. I got my blood dryer. I may I need to dry some more. It shows up better. Okay, we'll do that for now, guys. Wait, let me go back here. Now I'm going to turn that blow dry on just to get a little bit dry so I can start. Um, well, I guess I can get to a shirt if I get to the flowers. Because that's why we're here, right? It's for flowers. So we're going to have a little bit of noise for a few, not a few minutes, probably less than a minute. She's looking cute. Thanks, Derek. I was looking at launch, but I need to get through my massive collection of hair products first. I hear ya. The bottles are pretty awesome, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go, guys, real, real quick. There's still wet some spots, but that's okay. Yeah, I got some skin over here. <laughs> I use so many different hair products. Sebastian is good. Yes. There's lots of good hair products, but I wanted good hair products that I could afford. So that's what I found. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do her shirt while this is drying a little bit. And have you guys seen this color yet? Candy papaya. One of my favorites. So I'm going to use that. What do you guys think? Candy papaya is good with... We could do key lime pie. Or we can do 
pink, or I can make some coral. Gotta love coral. So I'm gonna start with our candy papaya. And I think I'm gonna do some stripes. And I have plans for lots of lots of cute little sunflowers, so if you're waiting to see why or where the sunflowers are, they are coming, y'all. That's a good stripe, right? I am not good at doing straights. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gloria, how are you? I know Josie loves key lime. Hello, Sonia Sutton. Uh, okay, all right. I'm going to mix some colors. I'm having so much fun, Josie, mixing all the different magical chalk paint colors and creating my own. So much fun. Okay, so I'm just mixing over here on my little thing. My only problem is sometimes I forget to make enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come over here. Now that I'm looking at this, it looks a little too much like her skin. <laughs> so I think I'm going to add a little bit more candy papaya to it. See what happens. We do a coral. I love coral. Is it may be too much like her skin. So maybe once I get my flowers here, it will um it won't be as noticeable, right? Is everyone on the paint pixie page? Um it looks like there's about nine of them, Pam. <laughs> Rob's over there, I think. I think Melinda's over there. Okay, so since Josie's here and I love her dearly, we're going to add some key lime. The names, of, I know, Jade, they make me hungry too. I think Josie was hungry when she was doing all of it. Whoops, I just squirted out way too much. I get too excited. The food, the drinks, the desserts. They are, they're super fun names. Okay, I gotta keep track of time. 6.34, okay, I'm good, right? Look at that key lime just pop. We're gonna make a cute little retro top, y'all. Let me make my stripes bigger so I can finish faster. <laughs> Has anybody planted sunflowers in their yard? I've never done that. I wonder if there's a different, like what climate they grow best in. I had a, I walk our neighborhood every day and there was some, um, not at where I live, you know, probably a mile within the neighborhood. They had beautiful sunflowers. And one day I went by and they were all like almost dead. I like wanted to go get water and save them. It's like, don't let them die. But they're pretty, but I don't know if do they take tons of water and 
I don't know. I used to know all that stuff, what grows in what section. And... You like it, Josie? You like a key lime? Hi, Miss Tammy Weber. How are you, sister? I miss you. Maybe use a big flat brush from the this one. That's a good idea. The assistant. I need some assistance. <laughs> I need some assistance, people. Okay. And I kind of want to add Wajito in there. Or Tropical Dream. Let's add a little Tropical Dream. We'll make it really big. And then i got to go back to my other colors. And then the flowers. I can fix her hair later. Actually, you know what? That's Let me lighten it up a little bit. I forgot I used that on the sides. But I love it so much. I'll make this darker over here so it goes better. So this is the assistant I'm using. Turquoise Iris Collection. All that is available to you on RestyleLemons.com along with all the paint. And the new metallics, y'all, are coming September 1st. Red, blue, and green. And we're doing a metallic marathon September 1st, right, Josie? I think I'm actually on at 11 a.m. Um, but I'm excited because I have a beautiful dresser that I'm going to paint. Super excited. That'll mm -hmm. probably be two lives, guys, so you can see it from beginning to end. I'm kind of liking this shirt, y'all. What do you guys think? Fun? Did you ever get your samples? Yes, I thanked you. Maybe the rest white. Yes, I did, Miss Josie. Yeah, I think we were messaging, and I said thank you for the box and the paint and the molds. And how much you spoil us. Yes, yes, yes. Do you want me to show the people? I have them right next to me. You let me know and I can show them. Unless you want me to wait till September 1st. <laughs> the flowers will go fast. They're just little flowers. You make baby sunflowers. I know, Josie. Weren't you talking about how you think your projects are always going to be a certain length of time and it always is different? It's like, and this will go fast. I always forget about second coats, but this doesn't really need much coats anyway. Okay, I got a little bit of coral left. We're almost done with the shirt, and then we'll go to the flowers, guys. No, they can't wait till September. No, not wait, not you. I sent Tammy some in a few weeks ago, but they go to her store. No, they can wait. Oh, so you don't want me to show them? Okay, glad I asked. <laughs> I'm so excited to paint with one particular color. Guys, make sure you tune in September 1st. Okay. I'm just going to get this lime on y'all and then I'll start on the flowers. I can always make that background too. Okay. Just make sure you show them all the colors. You're the first one. Oh, I am? Oh, I will definitely show them all the colors for sure. 
for sure. Okay, so I'm going to start with my, obviously my sunflower. So I'm going to use these three. The tipsy, the favorite, and the cat's tongue for my flowers, guys. And I'm going to start right here on my sweet little pigtails. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I'm using my chocolate souffle for the center. And I do have a little bit of my licorice that I'm going to use too, you know, to darken that center a little bit. See, I use it all the time. It's almost out. These are just going to be mini little sunflowers, y'all. That's why I was going to darken the hair so you can see them. But actually, um, I can make sunflowers any color, right, y'all? So I'm going to do kind of a, um, a dark yellow. So I'm going to mix my candy papaya and my honeycomb together. There are some gorgeous orange sunflowers out in the world. Okay. Actually, this for that. I'm going to go that. So I'm just going to take my. Here, let me just make sure you show them. Not now, but the first, right? Yes. <laughs> and this way. I always have trouble. Like, I want to do a certain way, and I always mess it up. Okay, so that's my first layer. Let's go over here. I'm going to mix this back. There's my, there's my other one. You guys see that okay? Hello, Barbara. Thanks, Jade. Well, Pam, did you switch over? I will be in an apple cookie area soon. Hopefully we won't be staying too far. This Pam's coming to Austin in September, y'all. I'm excited. Okay. So we're going to make her little... I got time. I got like 10 minutes. We're good, people. Her little band right here. So I'm going to start... Kind of here... the center of my sunflower. I'm gonna get I'm still using the cat's tongue. I'm gonna go over here. I'm still blending the candy papaya and the honeycomb. I will probably put lighter shade as my second coat. I'm just using the side of the cat's tongue to make my petals. It's a little tricky with this ridge, but I got it. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, and I will fill that in. Now I'm going to move on and do some different other little flowers. I'm going to use some of our pink. I mixed together Violet Lemonade and Marshmallow and uh, Glazed Donut for this pink. <laughs> so I've been working on some pink stuff, so I've been creating different shades of pink. So that's going to be a center. And then that's going to be a center. And I'll do another one over here. And then I'm going to use the favorite. Okay. And I also got my figgy pudding. And I'm mixing that with our tropical dream to make um, kind of a lavender. Just like that. I like to mix two different shades in there when I do these kind of petals. This makes it look so pretty. So here I have just kind of a purple and then our tropical dream on there. I'll go back in there and make the pink bigger. So there's those, and I'm going to wash this out. Hey, Miss Wendy Kahn. Hi, Patty from Chicago. How are you guys? I'm also on the Paint Pixie page here. We're having a sunflower marathon, so I'm painting some orange sunflowers, and I'll add yellow in just a minute. i got a few minutes until our next sunflower artist comes on. I'm just making her a pretty little flower headband. Using the cat's tongue. Yeah, see, I'm mixing some pinks and some oranges. I love to get all the different colors. These kind of remind me of pansies. So that's what I'm trying. Just do fun colors on the side. And since Josie's still here, hopefully we'll do some key lime. Good to, well, I can't see you, but it's good that you're here, Wendy. Miss you. How are you? Are you painting? Are you grooving, getting those things done? Okay, now we got to do some darker purple, y'all. See, look at that. I love that. Is that so cool how it does that, guys? <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> Get your cat tongue, get your cat tongue. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I know we're running out of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some yellow since that's what we got right here to put those in the centers. And then I'll go back with the pink we had here. Is cat tongue the name of the brush? Yes, Patty, it is. This is the cat tongue. These are the Turquoise Iris Collection of paint brushes. They're all available at restylelemons.com. I've been using that, the favorite, and um, this is the Tipsy. I'll go ahead and label everything, all the paint brushes I've used. 
when we're done here. Um, and I'm going to go really quickly because I want to add a little bit more yellow to our sunflowers since it is a sunflower marathon. I'm going to go up here. And then I'm going to add a little more down here on these, on these little guys. And I'm just dabbing it just a little bit. I'm just making baby sunflowers. But I do them a little bit different than everyone else has been doing them. And then I'm taking my Tipsy. And I'm going to get my black. Just add a little bit more black to that center of that sunflower. And I'm going to go back with a little bit of brown. I've been very intrigued with the brushes that make amazing flowers. I was watching someone today. I think they were using the assistant making gorgeous roses. Once you get the technique down, it's really awesome. Okay. And I'm going to super quick since I got three minutes. And I'm just going to paint the edge of this so you guys can just see what it looks like. And I will probably seal all of this with wax, y'all. Our bee's knees icicle wax, which is clear. And I am going to go back and I'm going to trace her all in black, probably with a Sharpie. And I'm going to add some words to it, too, some encouraging words. And we will post this on the website. Facebook site, excuse me, so you guys can definitely see the final results. And I'm going to go ahead and put her sweet little eyes, sweet little nose. I always learn to do lips kind of in the heart shape. So that's what we got here. And last, but certainly not least, I wanted to add a little pink to her cheeks. That's my special custom color right there. And we did it. Whew. Sorry if I'm missing any of the comments, guys. Hi, KK. How are you, man? But I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see it. So there she is, my sunflower girl. And I will probably write some words either down here or up here. I haven't figured that out, but I will make sure to um, post that on the um, Facebook site so you guys can see her. There she is. We think we did pretty good in 55 minutes, right? <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Again, Laura Louise, Restyle Lemons is where you can find me on, Inst on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, a little bit of TikTok. <laughs> And RestyleLemons.com is where I sell all the Paint Pixie products. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out with me. I've had so much fun. I hope you guys like her. And um, stay tuned because we have another sunflower coming up, okay? Thanks, Phyllis. Bye, y'all.